Radiography is a very important diagnostic tool in dentistry. Without it, 60% of the cavities in the mouth would not be diagnosed in time. This is why your dentist will suggest that you have x-rays taken on a regular basis. It is certain that x-rays are in no way beneficial for the health. However, it is important to know that with today's technology, the doses of radiation are not what they used to be. For example, we know that a dose of radiation used for two x-rays with the protection of the lead apron is equivalent to 0.5 REM. This amount represents what a human being absorbs during a day spent in the sun or when a cigarette is smoked or a glass of wine is drunk. All these bad habits put you in the presence of the same dose of 0.05 REM. Several kinds of dental x-ray exist. First, there are bite-wing radiographs. This procedure allows the diagnosis of cavities between the teeth. Periapical radiography is another kind of dental radiography. It is used to detect certain lesions such as an abscess, a cyst, or any disorder located at the tip of the root. The panoramic radiograph is often used to do a good follow-up of the jaw structures. This type of x-ray provides a full view of the tissues that make up the lower part of the cranium. A panoramic x-ray every three to five years is recommended unless a particular disorder exists that must be monitored more closely. Cephalometric radiography can be used to evaluate the growth of the jaw. Scanners can also be necessary for the laying of implants or for certain surgeries that require the knowledge of the location of all the tissues bordering the region concerned. The last x-ray which we sometimes turn to is transcranial radiograph. This type of x-ray is used to study the jaw joint. Finally, when a dentist recommends one of these x-rays, it is important to remember that it has been proposed for reasons of safety. Without these, many disorders could not be diagnosed in time.